write a self-help ebook from scratch. Now AutoGPT will write an ebook for me from scratch. AutoGPT will prompt itself, and after conducting online research, will write an ebook for me. It's like ChatGPT on God mode. So, in this video, I will explain how you can install AutoGPT on your PC. A complete, step by step guide. I will also share how I tackled certain errors I encountered during the process in this video. Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Ready to become an AI wizard? Awesome, because we're about to break down the steps to set up AutoGPT on your computer. But before we begin, make sure you've got the latest version of Python installed, the heart and soul of this operation. Step 1. Get the GitHub repository. Alright, let's kick things off. Jump onto GitHub and find the repository containing the AutoGPT source code. That's where the magic begins. Copy that repository URL and we're on to the next step. Step 2. Clone the repository. Open up your trusty terminal on your computer. Navigate to the directory where you want the repository to live and get ready for some command line fun. Enter the command to clone the repository. And voila, you've got the foundation ready. Step 3. Configuring for AutoGPT. Now here's where the real action begins. AutoGPT loves to hang out with GPT-4, but GPT-3.5 can tag along too. Just note, GPT-4 brings the real magic. To set things up, you'll need your very own API key from OpenAI. No worries if you're new to this, just head over to OpenAI's website, create an account if you don't have one, and click on that shiny Create New Secret Key button. And copy OpenAI key. Step 4. Access for AutoGPT. To let AutoGPT work its wonders, it needs access to your API key. Open up the file named .env.template in the repository directory. In there, you'll find a placeholder that says your API OpenAI key. This is where you swap it out with the API key you just got from OpenAI. You're almost there. Just one last step. Don't forget to rename the .env.template file to .env. This is the moment you officially seal the deal and set up your very own AutoGPT environment. You're almost there. Just one last step. Click on run.bat file to run AutoGPT. Let's do this. So guys, we can see an error that's saying OpenAI authentication error. Let's go ahead and check the .env folder to see what the issue is with our API key. I think I might not have put double quotes around the API key, so I'll remove them and try again. Yes, it's working now. Hey guys, you can see another warning. You do not have access to GPT-4. Setting Smart LLM to GPT-3.5 Turbo. So, let's switch the default Smart LLM from GPT-4 to GPT-3.5. Well, I could have edited all these errors and skipped them, but I didn't remove these errors so that you can troubleshoot if you face any issues and find a solution. I think we have fixed all the errors, so you can run the run.bat file again. Then, you can see that our AutoGPT is running properly. You can give our AutoGPT a task. I ask it to write an ebook, and it has started its work. Always be mindful of ethical AI usage and adhere to OpenAI's guidelines. Respect copyright and privacy while exploring the world of AutoGPT. Thanks for tuning in today, and I hope this step-by-step -step guide has demystified the process of setting up AutoGPT for you. Remember, AI is all about exploring and creating responsibly. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, keep experimenting, keep learning, and keep having fun with technology.